Hello everybody, welcome back. So as I promised you, I built an outdoor enclosure for flam booster. So with this outdoor enclosure, you are able to put your flam booster outside the home and take the best out of it. For example, this is your present your antenna outside. This is will represent the cavity filter or lightning arrester as you like and under there you will use the pigtail shorter as possible i didn't find shorter than 50 centimeter so i bought the 50 centimeter from amazon this is what i find short over there and here you will have the flam booster inside the box basically i went to amazon and I buy four types of box just to be sure that I will find the right one. I bought this one, it was very small. Look how he looks from inside. Fortunately, this is biased, even the biased will not fit inside him properly. So I was well prepared. I bought this one, it's much, much bigger okay and before you install everything if you are have flam booster you must to test the cables that you bought some of them they are shitty and they will not work properly so i test i use this flam booster i test the connector he work good i use him connector plus cable he work good i use them all he work good and you have the second option you can buy connector like this with with a thin cable so me this is from my outdoor enclosures i just test and compare the cables i find the same beacons as this one this is rg 36 or rg 3 316 something like this in amazon sma male sma female to sma male so for you you must to buy directly and type mail to SMA mail. Yeah, me. I had this connector from before, and this is the only short one. I find and type mail to SMA mail in Amazon, but he will come in one and a half month from China. I don't know why. I find Chinese seller, and I find another one. He will come in three days, but the problem. The review that you must to read the review yeah it was shorted so basically some people bought it and when they test the ground and the other side it's shorted so i doesn't have reason to buy something it's not work sorry about my voice i speak it's two and a half in the night <laughs> but i was so excited to share with you all of you they keep sending me how i put my amplifier outside i want to keep my amplifier inside the home this is wrong guy you buy expensive amplifier yeah you have two options you can use the rubber not this one the other one the elastic one and cover him properly like sorin make but me i buy this like 350 euro and i buy this is 65 euros I spend a lot of money at Hawaii, I go cheap on my setup and risk my flam booster to be damaged from water. So like I said, I bought the box to be 100%, hopefully knock on the wood, never water enter it to him. And this extra long, like this when you install your antenna in the mast and put your cavity filter or your lightning arrestor, you have some flexibility to adjust the place of the box. Because before I put amplifier, sharing ink amplifier, directly connect to the connector and my host, he moved just the antenna, I end up broke in my flam booster, uh, my sharing ink amplifier. Luckily we repair it, but I learned my lesson. That's why you need a jump cable or pigtail cable to have some flexibility on your installation. So put your antenna, put your cavity filter, make them fast to the to the mast, 
come water prove it and then connect your alamor 400 because it's not flexible the alamor 400 and be careful with his connector me i have sma male to sma male alamor 400 like this the sma male he will connect to the sma female here and the other side of the sma male he will connect to my sma male a female from the bias t yeah i hope you get the point and from here i will power my flam booster so as always you know me i'm a helium epic for you you will ask me what i need like i say simple two sma cables it depends which cable you need. you need two jump cable okay don't use alamar 400 connected directly here you can broke his head because it's not flexible the alamar 400 okay use two two cables like this to have more flexibility in your installation and here as you can see the dark side i use the um, double side industrial velcro like this my flam booster stays stable and i use this hot glue basically i went and i bought a hot glue from amazon it cost like 14 euros one and four it's not that expensive and he come with his silicone basically his hot he give you a full bag even colorful ones <laughs> if you want to use color me i use the transparent one i use like three or four tubes already just i go very very overkill just to be sure that the water will not enter knock on the wood hopefully no water enters and t i will see this is the antenna side and here i write minor this is who goes to the minor side and later i highly recommend to use multi oil for what put it here the multi oil and the rubber gasket this is will help to isolate the water to not let the water let in inside your box now this one i will clean him better he will look like this in the end and they will put the screws of course so this is just quick update because a lot a lot a lot of you they send me a question about this i understand it's very hard to take the flam booster outside it's very very difficult if you're not willing to buy like this but in the same time if you are spending a lot of money on flam booster highly recommend to spend this it will cost you like five me i buy four of them 20 euros and they have prime so they don't pay for the shipping and i bought this one i don't remember how much it cost me and i bought the hot gun maybe most of you they have this stuff most of you they have these tools at home this is the most necessary the box and two cables and isolated properly and like this you have the perfect setup antenna cavity filter or lightning arrestor i highly recommend to use cavity filter but if you don't have you don't have antenna directly to the flam booster and like this i will use another alamar 400 like this the power of amplifier yeah to compensate the connectors to compensate the second connector to compensate the loss on the alamar 400 and please with the with the helium with the flam booster he he have just 10 dbi so try to make the cable short as possible okay it's very very important to use short cable as possible and very minimum connectors as possible so this is this is the ideal for my situation everyone have his situation me i will put this on the roof and in the roof you need to be flexible how you set up this would help me to set up with easier way and after that i will put the alamar 400 
and I waterproof it with the seal if I use the Alama 400 connected directly here I will have too much difficulty to adjust the hole she will be so much bigger and it will be a possibility that I will break the connector so I learned my lessons since I broke my sharing ink amplifier where is it? it's here since I broke it I become very very scared to broke it. another amplifier one more time I broke it I send it to my friend as you can see he opened the seal and he sold that for me but I still not test it if it's still working properly or not yeah this is it for this video I hope you understand it simple as that now I will close it and put the screws and waterproof it with extra I will use a this actually I will use another tape it's a white one because in the summer it will become a sunny days and the black color will bring too much heat to the box and this is a plastic not aluminium it will be very hard to dissipate the heat so that's why ah something very important when you install an outdoor enclosure made from plastic always put your flam booster or any electronic device far away from the walls of the box like this he not touched the plastic and he will not collect so much heat from outside as you can see I use even a velcro to keep him not touching so much the plastic basically he will stay in the middle of the box this allowed him to not collect so much heat because if the electronics get so much warm they throttle which mean they will work very slow and less capable with less capacity I hope you get the point try to make space between your flam booster and be careful don't buy the smallest one he will not fit inside look the shape measure your flam booster or any other type of amplifier and try to fit it inside let's see the sharing ink yeah if you have a sharing ink amplifier come on yeah he will fit perfectly also inside this box he will have space here space here enough space to put another connector and space here to put another cable as you can see so keep that in mind and you will have space as you can see I cut I cut this cable that he come with the flambos there if you are expert with solder you can remove it completely I already made a video tear down of flambos there but me I'm not expert that's why we we'll never know what happen in the future I let like three centimeter four centimeter for the future in case hopefully I will never need it ah, and a, a, a tip separate the positive from the negative and cover them isolate them like this in the future to be sure that the positive not make shortcut with the negative be careful okay I separate them the positive alone negative alone and I put this tape between them to be hundred percent they will not touch each other or they will not mean when it's too much immunity will make short how to care short circuit yeah I hope you get the point so and later I will show you the video how I will set up this outside if I'm um, if I <laughs> if I'm lucky enough I will make you the video if it's not I'm sorry about that because I will be on top of the roof so it depends the weather if I can use my phone to film inside <laughs> on top of the roof wish me luck okay this is it it's the night it's two and a half in the night I wish you happy mining 
and I wish you all of you to put your miners outside not inside and please put your expensive amplifier outside next to your antenna to make the best of it you pay the money make the installation correctly okay don't be lazy and leave it indoor I show you every single thing and every way to get the best of your miners and make the best way to make the best earning from HNT so just do it okay like subscribe and see you in the next video bye